It was mostly cheap and dirty motels. We didn't have much food. Just a lot of bad stuff happening. I felt alone in the world and just, uh, I didn't feel loved. I was in an alleyway alone, um, no adult supervision, no clean clothes, and these cops found me and took me in. Zach had given up hope. He thought, well, who would want to adopt an older child? He was 10 years old and couldn't tie his shoes. Self-care, bathing, um, brushing his teeth, those things, we had to really show him what to do. You know, you never realize how hard children have it until you hear stories and you think, wow, you know, I cannot believe that this happened to him. But to him, it was normal. All the kids that are in foster care, the kids I work with, they just really need a family. They need one person, just one person, um, to really give them just the stability, just the um, consistency, um, the love. They really just need that one person. When I moved to West Virginia, my biological father wanted to take me with him to West Virginia, but wanted to leave my brother in New York. So when I was 10, my brother went in the foster care, coincidentally around the time that I found my forever home. When I see pictures of my biological brother now, I can't help but think, geez, that guy looks exactly like me. He aged out of the system. He didn't get a high school diploma. And that was the point where I was having a successful high school career and having a great family. He's just not taking care of himself. He doesn't have anybody to look out for him. I think he, he just doesn't have that guidance that I have now. I think that we've given Zach a home, stability, someone that's gonna be for, there for him no matter what. He knows that he'll, he can be here as long as he wants to be. He's just such a caring human being and I wonder all the time, where would Zach be if he didn't have a family?